first. I don't know. The makeup lady did my eyebrows the other day. And I don't know what kind of sorcery she did. But, oh my god, they look so good. I feel like that just looks like they're unruly. Oh, I'm in a better mood today, guys. I was in a bad mood yesterday. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. Look. I feel like that is not good. <laughs> Look, there's no filter. It's just me and my moisturizer. I feel like this is not what the lady had on my face the other day. Also, do y'all ever not want to put makeup on? Because, like, you're not going to see anybody in real life. Hold on, my friend just wrote me. <laughs> okay. This is why January boxes, y'all liking them, mean so much more to me. Because I picked your outfits out myself. And if you'll ask your friends, there's like maybe out of 249 boxes, I would say maybe five people. That's a stretch, actually. Got the same thing. And it's only those five people. Like, there isn't groups of five. Like, I literally picked everybody's outfit. And did it take me a long time? Yes. Will I do it again? Probably not for several months because it took me a long time to wear, like it was fun in the beginning and then it got really tiring in the middle part. And then, but I just did not want to feel like I was like half-assing it anywhere. And then in the end, it was really fun again because at the end you're left with all the pieces that you've like pulled aside to, to pack. And so like the very last box was my internet friend named Judy and she got a bunch of shit because she was the last box. So anyway, I gotta put some makeup on. I got this the other day from Walmart. It's called Soap Brow. I don't know what it does, but it don't work on me. So it's definitely going back to Walmart. I am going to pick this up today from Sephora. Oh, I need to write that down. That's one thing I need to do. And then I've been trying to like do something with my eyebrows to look more like the lady who did my makeup, but I don't know. I don't know what she did or how she did that. Also, I really don't want to put makeup on, but I know I'm going to go in public and I know I'm going to see people and they're going to be like, Becca, why isn't your nose skinny? Like it is on Instagram. <laughs> I do this all day. Like, do I want a nose job? First of all, I can't even afford it. But second, do I want one? My kid's like, Mom, what's wrong with your nose? There's nothing wrong with your nose. I've never thought you had a big nose. I'm like, I don't know. Just like a little bulby, you know? Anyways. Okay, so do I commit and put makeup on? Or no? My outfit is from Walmart. It's a uh, freaking size 11, 13. Look. This is why I need to get on the skinny shot, old fat ass. Because this is a freaking, first of all, I'm sucking in for dear, this is me not sucking it. Actually, I am still sucking it a little bit. Okay, hold on. This is me not sucking in. But I usually walk around like this, like pulling my, my belly button backwards. It's like pulling your core in. But I've always like walked around sucking in my whole life because of pageants. Anyways, I have an appointment today at 2 o'clock. Consultation to talk about the skinny shot. And I'm like 50-50. Like, I'm actually, here's the thing. I am the person that the crazy shit happens to, okay? So, like, think about what's going on in my real life, which is why I was in a bad mood yesterday. Because, like, I'm very patient as a human, but, like, there gets to a point where I'm just getting pissed off. Like, at the end of the day, all the stuff I've been saying for the last three years is actually happening, and it's pissing me off. And so, but I think it's just pissing me off because... Like, nothing's being done about it, but also nothing was going to be done about it right now. I just got to where I wanted to be with my business a little quicker than I estimated, I think. And now I feel, oh shit, oh shit. And now I feel like I'm sitting here, like, waiting on something to get done. When this was always the plan. But, I don't know, does that make sense? You just get frustrated. Because, like, at the end of this, what, are people going to be like, oh my god, Becca, you were right the whole time. Yeah, fuck off, I already knew that. Like, I don't want an award for being right the whole time. I want other people to not, the same thing not happen to them. Oh my God. And let me tell you, things are being set up right now where it could happen to you too. So please don't be as dumb as me. Do not give your bank information to anybody who is not a licensed banking professional with actual credentials. And I don't mean 
just like, yeah, just don't. Anyways, so yeah, I was in a kind of a grumpy mood yesterday, but I'm better. Um, what else? I have like a secret I've been keeping for like a year and, but I don't want to tell yet because I don't know if I've graduated. I need to, we'll talk about it next week. Ask me about the secret. Look at my pretty bracelet today. Isn't it gorgeous? So pretty. Um, anyways, really don't want to put makeup on today, but I guess I will. I need to shave my top lip. How does so much hair grow on my chin and my lip? But like, it don't grow on my head. I don't get it. This is a new moisturizer I got. It's called Rich Bitch. And I don't really know if it works, but I know it does peel off my face a little bit. Don't forget to pair with this so jelly. Um, we are going to have, oh, I'm going to tour a space for our Galentine's event, which is February 16th at 7.30. I think we're going to do it at this coffee shop in South Lake. I don't know why I'm getting so nervous even saying what we're going to do it because fucking Captain Crazy. Um, so I'm going to go tour that space today just to make sure that it's a good fit. And then we're going to have a little pop-up shop. And I have this thing where you'll be able to like try on different rings and you can like there, it's all magnet, so you put the, the band on, whatever band you want, and then you can put different heads on the rings to try whatever you'd like. Stress can cause extra hair growth. Can it cause extra hair loss, too? I don't feel like I'm stressed. Hold on. I don't, I mean, I guess I am. But I don't, I don't know. It's not that. Like, I'm not stressed. I just get, like of annoyed anyways i guess i need to put my makeup on and i really don't want to my face sticky look this is how sticky that stuff is that hydro grip primer it is real sticky <sighs> let's put some makeup on guys i guess i never know could meet like not the love of my life because we are not interested in that I told my assistant, I was like, when I first met you and you told me that you like swore off men and just had not like had anything with anybody in so long, I thought, how do you do that? That's so weird. Like, I don't even know if I could do that on purpose. On purpose. Girl, me too. Ugh. Get away from me. I don't want to be around nothing. I just want to work and that's it. Okay, we're using medium tan. Shave my lip real fast. Here. Just use this little thing. Your hands don't work. Um, what else I was gonna tell y'all? I didn't say anything, but my kid got in a car wreck like a week ago. I know it's so weird for stuff to happen and y'all not know. My kid got in a car wreck. He's okay. It was a hit and run. The guy gave him a thumbs up and then drove away. Mm, luckily. Yeah, that's definitely not. Yeah. Uh, luckily, my kid has a backup cam and caught everything on the camera. And yeah, it's been fun. Kind of a pain in the ass, to tell you the truth. Because now his car's rushed up. The guy, like, literally gave him a thumbs up and then just drove away. So, super frustrating. I hope he doesn't get dropped from his insurance now. Because that will suck. But we'll see. It wasn't his fault. They were stopped at a light and the guy's car just, like, starts rolling forward. This is a little orange for me. But that's okay. We're going to make it work. I'm going to blend that shit into my neck. So he's good, but he, we have to go back to the doctor tomorrow so he can get a clearance for, so that they can say he's concussion free. Super fun. Uh, and then, so what happened the day of, like I woke up at 7.58, Wubby came in, no, 
a little bit, 748, I think. When we came in, gave me a kiss, tells me bye. He does it every single day, like clockwork. Like he walks in my bedroom, leans his face down. I kiss his cheek. I say bye. He says bye. He went to go get breakfast. Then something told me not to answer my phone, which was the wrong voice. But something was like, don't answer. Don't look at your phone. Don't do anything. Just try to go back to sleep till 830. Yeah, bad idea. Because my kid was blowing my phone up and I didn't know. And I'm like, I feel so bad because I was like intentionally not looking at my phone. So I would, I would go back to sleep for 30 minutes. And my kid was blowing my phone up the whole time and I didn't know. But then he came storming through the door and was like, Mom, I just got involved in a hit and run. He was freaking out. He's like, is it my fault? Blah, blah. But they had everything on camera. And it definitely wasn't his fault. The guy was like behind him at the light and then just started literally like rolling forward and then giving him a thumbs up, him and his wife, and then drives away. But also the guy had like three DWIs and assault charge, all kinds of stuff. So maybe that's why he didn't want to stop. I don't know. He had a nicer car. So anyways, taking care of that, at least we'll be okay. And his car's not too bad, but obviously it's going to be ridiculous to fix because those cars are so expensive. And everything on them is so expensive. So I don't even know. I mean, if the other people's insurance pay for it, I guess we could get it fixed. But if we have to file a claim, I don't even know if I'd do it yet because, like, he's probably going to wreck it again. He's only 16, you know? Poor kid. It was totally not his fault, though. He drives so good. Even though I say he's like a crappy driver, he's a very good driver. Like, he's always like, Mom, that was a stop sign. Mom, why aren't you using your blinker? Shut up, kid. But also, good job. So, at least he's okay. Okay. I'm going to make the thank you cards. New thank you cards today for the box. New jewelry care cards today for the box. Like, the box is ready to go. I just got to put it all together. And I know they're going to sell very quickly when they go online. And my goal is to have every single one of them, like, pre-packed. And then all I have to do is put the label on the outside of the box to ship it out. What is happening down here on my neck? What is this grossness? Let me see. It's going to get on my shirt. Watch. Mm, yo, what's your favorite tan water you've used? I want to get some tan water from Amazon and I was looking at it today. They have like tanologist. I have a spray tan membership and it's only $40 a month and I've literally, and it's unlimited spray tans every month. So literally, but you can go twice in the same day if you want to. It's like the oldest plan that they have because I've been a member for literally ever. But I, it's far, like it's all the way in Flower Mound and I don't know if you know where I live, but that's like 30 minutes and I don't like driving 30 minutes. Really, I don't like driving 30 minutes and I don't like sitting in the car on the way home. For 30 minutes after you're like sticky from a spray tan. My lashes are pretty good, but I just pulled some out in the wrong places. I think I'm gonna get them fixed on Friday. My lash girl is so cheap. If you need lashes and you're in DFW, I'm not joking. Like her stay on so good. Like two nights ago, I had like a freak out fest where I just sat there and cried by myself in the living room and not a lash came out. So, which is kind of nice. I feel like I haven't cried in a minute, but I just got a little bit overwhelmed. Not in a bad way. Just like in a... I remember when Kiki LaRue like first started and it started growing really quickly and I feel like I was like losing control of it a little bit. It's like you pray for that, for it to grow very fast, but then also I pray this time that I do it the right way and not like let it get out of control. Like last time I feel like I let it get out of control and I let so many other people like step in and tell me what to do and... I remember telling Ben before, like, I just don't want it to keep growing like this. Like, I don't want a big boutique. I just want to keep it small. And then he was like, you have to keep growing. You have to keep growing, which obviously we see why later on. But with this company, like, I want to keep it where I have control of everything the whole time. And I can feel it, like, starting to grow very fast. And it's not getting out of control. But, like, okay, for example, the custom ring thing. I had, like, maybe 30 inquiries at one time for the custom ring thing. That's physically impossible for me. It takes me hours to make a ring custom, if not weeks. Well, definitely weeks, but like even the design process, figuring out what someone wants, 
And so now I have to think of a way to, these are all blessings too, I'm not complaining. I have to think of a way to um, kind of streamline that process because I, like, I had a bunch of people reach out and want custom rings, but I have to make sure it's a good fit for me, have to make sure it's a good fit for you, and I have to make sure it's a project that I want to take on. And I'm very thankful that I can decide that, but also like, I don't know. It's just, very, it's like a little bit overwhelming. Again, nothing, I don't, don't feel bad for me. I'm not asking for sympathy or anything like that. I'm just saying like, I just want to streamline the process. Also, I freaking love it. Like this girl sent me the first custom, like completely from scratch. No like ring to go off before that. No drawing, no nothing. We just literally like took a couple rings and then put a little bit of everything together and then created what? she wanted through the vision that she spoke and then she sent me a, vi a video of her and her husband opening the jewelry and her husband was like so floored and that just made me so happy because like I know y'all are going to be happy for sure but like when your husband see the value of it too at the same time like I don't know and he was wearing the men's ring that I just made I like I literally nobody even knows about them yet and I sent her one for him to try and give me feedback on and he had it on in the video too I just love that it was so nice. So, like, I had to teach myself how to do all this stuff. How to learn about gemstones. How to learn this freaking CAD program that I thought was going to be the death of me. Like, all of it. But also, I did it with denim. When I started making blue jeans back in the day, like, I had no idea how to draw a pattern. I had no idea what GSM was. I had no idea what, like, how much a zipper costed or buttons cost or what shape, you know, pockets should be on your butt. And I taught myself all that. And then I ended up making like several million dollars off denim because I solved a problem, not just like sold a bunch of people a bunch of shit. And so with this jewelry, I want to do the same thing, solve a problem. And I don't know, I just been feeling all weird. I think too, cause like you guys know my dream has always been to move to Africa and work with this company called Charity Water, right? Well then the other day I found out that there's another Moissanite company too that works with Charity Water and I was like, oh my God, do I look like I'm copying them? Cause I didn't even know they existed. And I talked about Charity Water like five years ago when I was at the ink party and blah, blah, blah. And I, what I realized after I prayed about it was there's room for everybody. And as long as they're doing good and I still, like want to do good and are going into this with a pure heart. It doesn't matter if we're both in that space, you know, like I never think of people as like my competitors. I think of them as like, there's another, there's enough piece of the pie for all of us. I am kind of different this time around though. Like I'm not as dumb business wise as I was before. Definitely before I was like too much of a nice girl and too much of a, like tell everybody all your secrets and where you get everything from and all that. And then now I realize, like, hey, you should probably not do that. Um, but I don't know. It's been a lot. I'm working on, I'm going to meet a factory in the U.S. that's going to help me create a bunch of my pieces. And that should increase my shipping time, like, make it a lot faster. My prices will increase a lot because, obviously, U.S. labor is ridiculous. But I think offsetting, I'll offset that by how quick I can get my pieces back. So I'll share more with that, more about that when I can. And then originally my plan was to go through bench jeweler training, but I think that just gemology school is taking me so long because I have to like spread myself so thin that I don't, and I actually don't think at the end of the day that I want to be a bench jeweler, which means that I physically like sit there and bend the prongs and polish the rings and do it myself. I want to know all that stuff, so I'm definitely going to go through the bench jeweler training class. I just don't think I'm going to, honestly, this sounds so shallow, but the reason I don't want to do it is I don't want to get my nails messed up. Is that bad? Like most bench jewelers, they can't have nails like this. They can't have nice hands. They like... You know, your fingers are often like your nails are crooked because you're constantly like working with metal and burning your fingers. And like, I am the model for my company too. So I think, I don't know that. And then this opportunity for the state side factory fell in my lap at the same time. So I was just like, okay, this is God telling me you already were on the fence about the bench jewelry thing, but I still want to know like every single detail. Where's my blush? every single detail. So, I feel like I'm gonna go through the whole class. Damn 
damn it, where's my blush? And yeah, we'll just do like a little bit of makeup today. Um, I'm gonna go through the whole class, <sighs> which honestly, it's probably pointless, but I don't care because I want to know what they're doing. I mean, it's pointless that I'm going through a diamond, a diamond grading class too when I'm not even working with diamonds. But at least I can tell you every single thing about diamonds and other gemstones. And we are going to work with other gemstones. Like we're about to, this piece that I'll unveil at the um, pop-up shop at the Galentine's event, you'll be able to, like I said, it's magnetic shanks. And so you'll be able to put the heads of different rings on different shanks. And some of them are birthstone colors too. I need to make sure call her back and make sure she sent me that. Um, but you'll be able to uh, use birthstones too. Right now I have three black rings in production. One's black moissanite, two are, one is black moissanite, two are black onyx. So you'll be seeing those, which they should be in, I think the date is February 28th. Those should be done. And I'll share those with you too. But I want to create like a more streamlined process for the custom order thing. And like I said, I don't want, I know this sounds shitty, but like I don't, I don't want to accept every offer that comes my way because some like might not be a good fit for me. And like, don't ask me to dupe someone else's ring. Like I'll make a ring look very similar to someone else's, but it has to be different in some way or otherwise we're just copying someone else. So like, I'll give you lots of ideas for the basket or the gallery, which is like the side profile of the ring or maybe different size. Like I've been working with a lot of graduated stones in the shank. So it's like smaller to larger or larger towards the bottom and large, smaller towards the top. So just don't ask me to like make a ring exactly like somebody else. Cause that's not fun for me. Like, I want to do unique stuff, not just, like, the same shit, you know? You know what I mean, guys? Oh, so much to do in so little time. I have these that are going on the website, Bling Brush. We have Bling Bath, Bling Brush, all the little cute little kits. We'll have all that on display for the pop-up shop, too. Um, I've had this stuff for, like, over a month and did not put it online yet, so I need to do that. Um, what else do I have to tell y'all? I don't know why I'm putting on makeup. My friend Maddie from Trophy Blooms had her, what's it called? Ribbon cutting like 30 minutes ago. So congrats to her. Oh yeah, South Lake Style Reader's Choice Awards. You can vote for us, which I do feel guilty because there's other jewelry companies who've been around long, longer than me. Last night I was thinking like, you need to tell people not to vote for you, Becca, because you're taking the award away from other people who have like been around forever, but like, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. If you wanna win, you go try to win. So we should vote. I wish I wasn't like that. That is anno that's an annoying trait to be like, oh no, let them have it. No, let I do wanna win actually. And I've won all kinds of awards from best of 76262 magazine, best of Fort Worth, South Lake style, like all kinds of stuff before. I don't know if I've ever won South Lake Reader's Choice for my clothing store, but maybe, probably so, over the last 12 years. I haven't really done anything clothing related in a minute. I got my overalls from Walmart. So, Heidi K, brown eyeshadow. This is what we're going back to. I got that soap bra stuff, hated it. I ordered some of the, um, I think it's the e.l.f. brow gel. I ordered that. See, this just doesn't, this is my normal, what I do, but what the lady did the other day when she was doing my makeup, like it did look so much better. Also, that shit was caked on my face. We were all sending each other pictures at the end of the night of like how thick it was, <laughs> but it looks good on camera. Holy cow. I'm gonna have her do my makeup too. And Sorry. Sister, hello. Why wouldn't you look on Instagram first? Um, so I imagine that I'm gonna lose like 20 pounds in four months or less if I get on that skinny shot. God, I'm so scared though. God. 
Did y'all take Ozempic or did y'all take semaglutide? Which one? I don't know. I don't know which one I'm going to take. I think the lady, like, tells you. I'm getting, um... I'm going through somebody who's a customer of mine anyways, but she has an actual medical clinic. I've heard, like, all these people... Like, I've heard some random people say they're selling this shot. Like, y'all, it's a shot. We put it in our body. I'm not trying to buy it from just the guy down the road. Like, that's so weird. So, I'm going through an actual MP who gets a prescription, does the whole thing, you know? Uh, the skinny shot is, it's like either semiglutide or, what's it called? Terzepatide or, I don't know if I just said that right. What's the other one called? Oh, Ozempic. And... I did hear that you have to like work out a little bit because otherwise you'll lose weight and then you'll just be like a saggy mess and I don't want that obviously especially because I got a big old butt and I don't want my ass to sag so I got to figure out what I'm going to do like workout wise because I don't want to have a saggy ass but I'll show you if it does um and I'm really excited to like do the before and after pictures too because I think I look like skinnier sometimes than I am I don't know. I feel like I'm a big barrel. Also, I feel like my boobs aren't as big as they look. As big as Chris's they are. <laughs> she says I have huge boobs. I don't think so. But maybe other people think that. Damn it. What just happened? Dang it. I'm going to get that shit off. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Um, but I'll tell you all the things. I really, the thing that makes me nervous is I hate throwing up. That's like my numero uno. I've said that my whole life. It's like the thing I hate the most. And I had horrible morning sickness while I was pregnant. And I just don't want to get nauseous all the time. And I don't, I don't know if I can handle that. So, we'll see. Hmm. But in the meantime, today I'm going to go make the new jewelry cards. Make the new... Get the boxes ready to go. It's going to take me a while to like load up all the boxes and put the tissue paper in. I stickered them all last night. Not all. I stickered like 200. We have 305. Last month we sold 249 boxes. That means there's 56 boxes more than last month. Typically, the same people who got a box last month are probably going to come back and get a box this month because last month's box was great but this month's box is ridiculous so i've been talking about it for two months now um and i feel like most people who got last month's box are definitely going to try to get this month's box so there'll only be like 55 55 56 left for the general public to get and i'll probably make them live i don't even want to say because you're going to hold me to it but i'll probably make them live tomorrow morning maybe Depends on how soon I get the cards and stuff. See, now my eyebrows are too thick. The cards from, um, I'm probably just going to make them really quickly on my computer and then go pick them up from Staples because that's the quickest. Even though I wanted these like bougie foil ones, the turnaround time is like 12 days. So I'll probably just go make them on Staples, make them, print them at Staples real quick. Then I got to load up the boxes and y'all... Absolutely, we'll have them by Valentine's Tell her I'm on the friggin' video. I can't complain because I'm crazy like that too. Like, I'll call her 10 times. Uh, but I forgot what I was saying before that. Why would she not check the video to see that I'm on here? I was on a go. We have to be careful with sugared sweets. What happens if you eat a lot of sugar and sweets and you're on the pills? What does it do to you? Does it make you poop? Does it make you... I don't have a gallbladder already, so, like, I can't eat very fatty foods and not poop anyway. And I always say, like, people are always like, how do you stay so skinny you eat like shit? Number one, I feel like I poop all the time because I, I have no gallbladder. So anytime I eat, like, bad food, like, it's coming out for sure. So it doesn't sit in there for a long time. Also, why else am I skinny? Because I had plastic surgery a long time ago. But I feel like even then, like I don't have fat that folds over. But it like I'm like a barrel. So I'm like thick around this way. Um, 
And then my family's like just small framed people, but we're all like small framed, small legs, small arms, and big bellies. So, oh, how weird could they add explosive? Diarrhea and vomiting with sugar, carbs, and fat. So what do you eat then? If not those things, then what else is there? What else do you eat? Vegetables and fruits and steak. Does red meat make you sick on this stuff? Also, do you have to take it for forever? I really want to know. I don't want to take it forever and ever. And I definitely feel like it's cheating, but I'm okay with it. Oh my God, look at my face. I'm getting this shit everywhere. I'm okay with it. Uh, I am going to get all my labs done before I started at all because I did have my PCP doctor said that my A1C level was a 5.9 and if I get to 6.1, I'm in trouble, which I don't even know what that means. And I don't know how this medicine like will affect that bad or good. So I was just trying to be very transparent with the doctor lady who's prescribing it to me and telling her like, hey, uh, this is what my regular doctor told me. Am I going to be in trouble if I take this stuff? Is it good or bad? But she seems to think it would be helpful, so. I don't know. God knows I have a lot of sugar cravings, which is my own fault, but I do. That's like my drug of choice, honestly. I love sugar. Love sweet stuff. I don't have very much um, blush today because I can't find my little blush thing. I took it out to show someone the other day and I don't know if it was ever put back. So, looks like we're just going to use this. Give my face a little bit of color. But also, the shitty part is I need to bronze my nose. I want the e.l.f. lip oils too. Have y'all tried those yet? Are they the exact same as the Summer Fridays ones? Because if they are, I ain't spending $30 on one from Summer Fridays. Oh, okay. Thanks for hanging out with me today when I had literally nothing to say. Foundation is like separating at the end of my nose. There we go. A little better. Woo! Feels like it's itching. There's gotta be a little hair somewhere. Do you ever watch girls put on makeup on TikTok and you're like, how do you get your skin looking that smooth? Like my skin's not that smooth to start with, you know? Like, I have old lady skin. So it, like, doesn't look like that right out the gate. There's something itching my nose. Oh, and I have to schedule my dentist appointment. I really don't want to do that. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Why am I so scared? I hate the dentist. God, it's horrible. But I got to do it because your girl got a missing tooth. And I have to get a bridge. And I really don't want to do that. Not only is it stupid expensive, like... I don't want them drilling holes in my mouth. But it is what it is. I can't believe I have to get a bridge. That's such an old lady shit. But I gotta do what I gotta do. Where's my highlighter? Where's my blush? There's gotta be like some secret little hiding place. There's no, what, did I take a bag with me that night? Do we have a photo shoot? I don't know. My pictures aren't back yet from the photo shoot, but oh my God, they're going to be so good. We had such a good time. It was so much fun. Okay, February 16th. Y'all come see me in South Lake. I'll tell you later today exactly where it's going to be at. February 16th. Come try on stuff. I'm giving away a ton of jewelry at that little event. And like I said, you'll be able to try on all kinds of stuff in person. You'll be able to try on different rings with different... I um, can't believe I finally got my extensions done and now I just wear my hair up every day, idiot. Uh, you'll be able to try on a bunch of different pieces. You can walk away with jewelry that day. Not only will there be a lot of give giveaways, but there'll be jewelry that you can actually like purchase on the spot and walk away with. There'll be a bunch of really good sales. 
So if you don't get what you want for Valentine's Day, definitely come visit me on the 16th. It'll be in South Lake. I just have to confirm where today. Uh, uh, 6.1, you'd be considered diabetic. Oh yeah, that's what they said. Five point, it was 5.9 though. And then I think I like lowered my sugar intake or something. And which means like less eating shit in the middle of the night and it just got better. So this med helps people with diabetes so it will all lower. But does it lower if you're not making better choices? Had to drastically change my diet. I started moving towards lean protein and vegetables. That doesn't sound fun, but I'll do it. Okay, well, I don't know where my other highlighter is, so I'm about to use this one. This is not near as good as my little Revolution highlighter, and I hate using creams. Also, the lady who did my makeup the other day used, like, all creams, and, oh, it looks so good, but I cannot do that. Like, I'm not good at that. Okay, I'll find my shit and my lipstick. We'll, we'll work it out. In the meantime, gotta go. Wish I could have done something cooler with my eyebrows, but... This is what this is it. You know what else I'm missing? That that wet and wild little brown under the eye pencil thing that I had. I need that thing too. I'm wearing men's cologne because it smells so good. Mm. So good. All right, time to go put my sneakers on. Oh no, but these are size large. Large 11, 13, it says. Which I don't feel like I'm a 13, but okay, whatever. I can tell you all the things. My friend started the SG shots and said it helped her with cravings and food noise in her head. I eat when I'm bored. I eat when I'm stressed. I think I'm an emotional eater, they call it. Like, I eat when I'm bored. I'm going to eat when I'm stressed. Mm. But I can go, like days and not really be hungry but when i do eat it's like oh i want a pudding snack i don't want like a freaking carrot food noise is a great way to put it it totally changes your view of food the men's cologne is called is milky and it smells amazing it's the best men's cologne ever um i don't know what food noise is but i know that i like to eat really bad food all the time And I've been putting this on my lashes too. Grande lash. To like grow my real lashes. This came from Sephora, my birthday present. This is old Kiki Lur lip gloss called Nude Nature and it's definitely my favorite. Look. I don't have it anymore. Oh, the best color though. It's like not sticky, it has like a little hint of cinnamon. Should bring this back. Oh. Which was originally the plan. Like I mentioned, we were gonna busy back a beauty, but then somebody bought the website. Oh, I know. So fuck it, I guess I won't do that either. <gasps> it's okay. One day. Uh when do you think the February box will go live? I need to get my dollars ready. Probably within the next like 24 to 48 hours. So depends on how long it takes me to bag, box them all up and label them. I want to just be able to slap your label on the outside and then them be like good to go. So, oh good, I'm glad you did your makeup. I'm glad I did mine too. Like before you do it, you're just like, oh, I don't want to. And then when you do finally put it on, you're like, oh, you look so much better. Here's my face up close, no filter. No, nothing. Um, okay, I'm going to go put my sneakers on and get this party started today. And my phone's going bananas. And Chris, I have an alert that I have an audio session to jump on in just a few minutes. So, I'm going to go do that. Don't forget, February 16th, come see me in Southlake. If you are close, you can try on stuff. We can hang out. There'll be little light bites, and I'm giving away a ton of jewelry that night, so you definitely want to be there for that. And then, um, you can bring your husband if you want to. And then, what else? Oh, boxes will go live sometime in the next 
24 to 48 hours. Depends on how long it takes me to pack them all up. God, you feel better. Okay, love y'all. Bye.